Well, this is a strange start to the day. Uh, let's see. I'm lazy. Yeah, no. Head battery should be charged up. Oh, yeah. There you go. I'm actually out here before 8 o'clock. I had somebody coming for some stuff. I got, I walked off and left the stuff I needed last night for the MG. It's up time in the book. Time light. Cat's gonna go, wow, you're early too. Yeah! Morning, Fatso. Come on, camera. Yep, right there it is. I'll grab this. Grab that. And go put them in the truck so I don't drive off and forget it again. I uh, just got the machine shop, the part number for the pistons we're looking at for the Ford. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting my day started. And my poor wife. They're working her so damn hard she can't, she don't know which way is up anymore. She was late for work today, which hopefully, oops, with their new policies, she doesn't get in too much trouble. Damn. Now I see the body bag still on the motor, and my heat bill should be down. Well probably compensate because the other day I shut that off I got to turn it on couldn't figure out why I was getting cold in here last night when I was working but now we know so I guess it's an early morning start and uh, once buddy gets here then we're off to work on them well I gotta make a phone call too before I go too far, so. Oh, parts, parts, parts. There's the old one. See the damage on that? I mean, she was. Yep. It was time. It was definitely time. Oh, yeah, I gotta take this apart to see if the. If that's one piece or not. That determines on which water pump you need. It's been a long time since I've been going this early. But. I gotta figure out what setting got turned on in this computer the computer. Jeez. Camera because it seems to get dark in that, so I notice that. Either that or this camera's dying. If this dies, I'm screwed. You guys won't see me for a while. <sighs> anyway. Too much on the mind again. I gotta go. I'll be back. Oh man. Yep. Here goes the running, but at least I'm running the right direction. I'll be close to where I need to be to uh, finish the timing on the... Yeah, yep, yep. That's in here. I put that in here, didn't I? Uh, I stopped back by that place, so I thought I was going to need to go to the other direction this morning, but nope, I'm going the other direction. I need another me just to do all my running for me so I can stay and do, get some work done. Uh, the miter saw and the incubator that I don't know he just he said he was getting parts and never did he just come got that stuff which is good because I needed the shop space back I was getting tired of moving that stuff around so oh yeah and I gotta get back for this afternoon too so uh, hopefully the MG plays nice and it ain't too hard to get that thing timed. I'm afraid they got it down on the ground. And to get to the timing mark, it's on the bottom side of the motor, so I guess. Well, we'll see. We just gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Don't it sound better today? Went through the valves, readjusted those, got the timing brought back around and it's nice and quiet oh that's 
Oh, that is... That's where you can put the MG in the books. So, a lot better. All right, now the 5.3. Boy, that just made me feel really, really good. Really, really good. Oh my, that's just... I am so glad that that little motor sounds... Oh, that... You can hear the cam in it now. It's got a little throat to it. Not much, but that ain't much of a motor either. He's like, boy, that he's like, oh, that sounds. So yeah, I said, Al, usually you end up having to go through the valve train again anyway because uh, things change. I mean, the assembly lubes off it now, and uh, you just <laughs> it's. It's about an hour old now, if not longer. It just, uh, and I tell you guys, I just it hit me here when we were going to adjust that. You know, there's the oil pump drive in that thing, or the camshaft drive, not the oil pump drive. The oil pump drives off the camshaft. The camshaft drive on that is an offset piece. And you know, when I took that thing apart, I never paid attention to where the distributor was pointed. But that gear, however many teeth is on there, that's how many different ways you got to put that thing in. And how I managed to put that thing in at the right spot to put the distributor back in and have it be just a little, it was running retarded. Oh, I'll bet you a good 10 degrees retarded. And I got thinking because that drive is offset I mean I, I could have had that way off that car I could have been so frustrated but she popped off it sounds great it's carrying about 60 pounds of oil pressure I just made my day so now they're back to where they were before I started on the car so I'm done the MG's done yes Relief, finally. Just made all this running around and this and that worth it. It just. I am such a nervous Nelly when I start these new motors. So. Yeah. That helped. That really, really helped. So. Alright. Off to the shop to the 5.3. Actually, I might just do another two video day. Here, so. Yep. I picked up some Loctite. Permatex brand. Last place I went to buy some of this, a bottle this size, they wanted over $25 for. Seven bucks for this. So, need that for the 5.3 on those upper uh, head bolts. Ones that are under the intake. So, I'm pretty much freed up. I've had a really good day. Got extra shit out of my shop. I don't need to be storing. Uh, been down and took care of something else. And uh, went back and fine tuned the timing on the MG and we got her. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm just really, really happy that that thing, I mean, we really didn't have too many burps with it not wanting to go yesterday and it just, glad that he's really tickled she's really tickled because now they've gone from having one car back to having two once they get it down on the ground but that's their that's their so well uh yeah well i guess i don't know much else so we're just gonna go to the farm and get the going on the 5.3 again so see y'all later 
There's a cool looking dually. It's a silver one. With a kind of a cool looking truck. So, yeah. I seen that, I'm like, boy, that sure looks like my truck. It does. Anyway. Well, uh, we're on the way to the farm. Grab some snacks. So I'll be good out there and go get the next one done. So, yeah, I'm just, you don't know how much pressure inside me is gone now. Not that MG is running and running so good. I always end up going through my head. This, 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 this. But we got her. So, anyway, see you on uh, the next video, which will be day two of the 5.3 build. Hopefully, I can have a long block here before the day's out. So, just have to see. I guess I got somebody coming this afternoon, possibly. So, just work what we can. All right. I'll move some cars around there there and you all say take a day off and go fishing well this is my fishing got a buddy down here working on his I'm working on the uh, engine stands I'm gonna do a little welding here in a second but I right now I gotta sit down oh yeah he wants to fix his exhaust and the bolt broke off so, yeah, we're gonna bust out the welder and do some welding. Made an executive decision. And then I got the green truck up here. We're going to, uh, I'm gonna get the distributor out, moved. Hopefully, get that in time. And then get the brakes bled on that again. Since the ABS part's not working. Once I know that, and the brakes stay solid, then I'll get some new bolts for the box, bolt that down, get the gas tank hooked up and the wires in the back. And since my dually is a nice truck, yes, but it burns a lot of gas, I might just say the hell with it and pay the back license on the green truck instead of waiting until July 1st. Yeah, July 1st I'd only have to pay 35 bucks. So, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I gotta start working on getting a uh, bolt out of a manifold for him, so I may or may not film that. I don't know. I'm just enjoying myself. That MG running today and running as good as it was, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, that's right. It's my day, so this is my kind of fishing. Just having buddy, people around doing things. I mean, used to be busy around here all the time, so. Come on, camera. Really? I'm going to have to get a new lens. I can see what it's doing now. Okay, well. Yeah, I know what it's doing. Okay. Yep. Need a new lens. I should have never said it was my fishing day. But, because Buddy's still working on his truck. But looky here. The new addition. I just got to make the arms now. And then we got the other pipe on this one. So I got this down. Yeah, drill a hole for the nuts. So I got that trainee. I want to get my bench back. I'm going to get her back out where. And I got the one rigged up for the forge. So I can't remember what tap I need, but here's my arms for the engine stand so get them out here a little smaller than what I used last time but they didn't have what I wanted but got the bench a little further back so and stuff on wheels and here's a blessing and no I did not get on the 53 today I just took the day 
We had nice weather, and then the rain came, and the cold, and miserable. But, uh, and all in all, it's still a good day. But anyhow, I've got to, I don't know, I'm just kind of there. If I had the bolts, I would uh, drill those, but I can't remember what size I got to drill it, or if I even have that drill bit anymore. So I can put those on. And then that motor there on top will be going. And then that one was going to go on that engine stand, but that one will probably up and on this engine stand after the 5.3 is done. So. <sighs> Just took a lazy day. Oh well. Oh yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Voice kind of goofed. Anyway, like I said, got this tranny on there. should be drained but just in case well everybody I think I'm going to go ahead and head home there it is get out of here got it cleaned up good enough that I'll be able to get the wife's in here tomorrow and got stuff on wheels get it out of the way got some more bench space so Oh man, I guess. I don't know a whole lot, but I'm kind of anxious to get going on this motor now, too. Like I said, uh, you get the arms made for that one and get the bolts to mount it. And Buddy's going to have the other plate, so then that one will be universal. Otherwise, I'll get some more metal and throw another one together. So. Alright, well, I guess I was wrong. I thought I was going to get more done than what I did, but hey, sometimes how it goes. Anyhow, we got the brakes and wipers and that to do on the wife's car tomorrow, so I guess we'll see you later. Sounds like my voice is going, so hopefully my daughter didn't share with me, so see y'all later. Have a good one.